first three. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> How's it feel, Dia? It's like, if you lose a bet. <laughs> about to hit the road but I have to get my bag packed so I'm kind of walk you through that show you what I got so um, wise person told me put every outfit in a Ziploc bag that way it's organized you know I get to it but also if it gets gross you can put it right back in the bag and keep everything from smelling terrible so four runs I got five outfits packed including what I'm wearing also have some snacks for the road and uh, my family wrote some cards for me and my wife who knows I'm a super geek uh, bought me a Rubik's Cube so if I have time we will play with that uh, don't need much in the way of toiletries right but I got some hydration a couple chargers bring in my my main shoes but then if, it, if I know the trip's gonna be gross we're gonna throw these on um, pavement I get to run in my nice shoes and then we've got like I said tons of Ziploc bags just in case also just in case I'm bringing the computer um, chargers and a towel and that's pretty much it so if it's not in this I'm not bringing it you guys can let me know uh, if that was a if I left something crucial out oh I did leave something crucial out Let's see if we can find it yeah gentle steps and mouthwash because <laughs> we know we don't want to chafe anywhere so all right packing the bags hitting the road all right baby I'm hitting the road. We're gonna have food. I dedicate my first mile to you and my last mile. That happened. Any words of wisdom? Don't die. All right. Have fun with your friends. Okay. And miss me. My wife has four kids uh, this whole weekend, so I gave her the same advice. Don't die. Have fun with your friends. Your little friends. I'll see you when I get back. Listen to this perfect song. Wow! Life is a highway. I Check it out. The hills are starting to roll. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm getting excited. I miss the upstate. I miss the mountains. I miss the rolling hills. I suppose if you live in another part of the country, you wouldn't call these mountains. But if you live in Conway, South Carolina, <laughs> then you know uh, this is a whole nother ball game. So all my training has been on flat ground. I've hit every hill I can find, uh, but here we are. The real test and I'm excited I am really really excited to take this on uh, probably spoken like a true true rookie <laughs> but was catching up with my buddy who invited me into this uh, Brian Coker uh, we go way back to nine ten years old uh, growing up in the same town you know playing sports together built tree houses together um, you know it's crazy because when he was a kid he hated running <laughs> and now uh, now he's a now he's run marathons, Ironmans, all this craziness. So, so anyways, he invited me into this madness and he said, look, you know, you get after it on that first run uh, and then you get in a van for hours and you get tight. You get out, uh, you know, the van for that second run and you think, I don't know if I can do this. Uh, <laughs> you know, and then it's, then it's night and all motivation is gone. And it really is comes down to your training. Do you have what it takes to get out of the van and go for a run? He said, then the sun comes up 
and uh, it's like refreshing, you know. It's like a, a second wind, um, and, you, and you get after it on that final run, and then we, we cross the finish line ultimately, right? So um, we're going to meet up with these guys in just a little bit. I'm over three hours into this trip, and I'm over it for sure, but I got another hour and 40 minutes. Um, but uh, I'll make sure you guys get a chance to meet the team that I'll be going to battle with tomorrow. And uh, meanwhile, let's enjoy the rolling hills and maybe a little country music. Check it out. Just got here. <clears throat> These guys are already feeding me. Check, check out this house. We're right on the lake. And guess what? We're going out on the boat. Come with me. You see this? We've got gnocchi, bread, meatballs. <clears throat> you guys say say hey to my mom. Hey mom. <laughs> Mama D. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pull yeah. Josh Seaball. That was Josh yeah. Seaball and Brian Lovelace just and like Dalton slept. Coker. And Dalton. Yeah. That's they a that's a rule. That's a hard and fast rule. That's not one that we make and then we we do it anyways. Like are no, we sleeping? No one sleeps basically. No, no. You might get I a mean, couple hours of sleep. Just, oh yeah. Hi boys, who's up? That's a that thing's been cut short. I don't know. Somebody I, cut that thing. No, it's a lot. That's it's good, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you guys got this. Yeah, you guys got this. <laughs> How many miles do you, are you getting in a week? That might be going through the woods. Thank you. Good luck to you, Matthew. <laughs> I'll take all the luck I can get. For those that would say that this 200 mile run isn't enough, we got this. Alright. Get in the car, Cokes. You've got enough energy from the morning, grabbing a little breakfast, grabbing a little fuel, you go for a run, it's not that, you know, it's not the end of the world, it's not that intense, so you don't really feel like you need anything, but you don't, you're not thinking about the next 15 miles or the next 20 miles that you have to go run, so it's creating that discipline, right, that, hey, this is my, my post-run behavior, this is my post-run. Or, um, or mid-run, mid, that's yeah. the thing, like, if yeah. you take your tank to empty, if you're not fueling during the run, a lot of times that'll hurt, hurt you. You don't want to take your tank down to empty too quickly. So if I have a four mile run, would That's you bring something on a four? I'm, I'm trying to decide. I, I brought one gel on a uh, on my seven mile. All right. Debating on whether I want to take water or not. It's the first yeah. leg. I can be hydrated already. Like now my next leg, I'll definitely have water with me. What's the next leg? It's the 10 and a half mile downhill. Downhill. But I'm also climbing a lot. So like I don't want a lot of uh, extra stuff on me climbing. The next leg, I'm all downhill. Just a suck bitch, baby. This is great. Here. This camera can't do it justice. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go on a tour of what we have with us today, starting with the anti fatigue caps. Hasn't great. been opened yet. We're about $1,000 in supplements. All right. All right. <laughs> so, anti fatigue caps, what's in that? So, this is an ammonia buffer. You can, you know, as, as, you, as you work, and the proteins are broken down, it, it releases ammonia. This is ammonia buffer. <laughs> ammonia uh, buffer. You know how you ever, like on hard workouts, you ever smell ammonia in your nose? Anybody else get that? Like after a hard run? I don't know if I've been to that level. <laughs> but I get it all the time. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. It, uh, <laughs> it, it, I don't know if it's a body fat thing. Like, I don't have, like if I'm burning stuff, like it all I can burn is muscle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, seriously. Fatter. Yeah, whatever. All right. We, we're not going to go through all these, but I'll show you. Tissue rejuvenator. No, that's like uh, anti-inflammatory. It's like turmeric. We, 
I don't know why anybody would take this on a run. But we have cherry candy. I won't find I won't find out. I absolutely won't. Deer antler velvet in there. <laughs> Beetroot <laughs> powder. Um, let's see. You got more tissue you know it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, you, you wait till the night when you're like, just get whatever's in the bag. Gives you. That's right. Just put it in a bottle and give it to me. I don't want to give me a give me a cocktail. <laughs> Whatever's gonna help. Exactly right. I'm a uh, race day boost. Now is that a right now thing to take or is that? Uh, leading up, it's like sodium. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, might get in on that. I figured uh, anything, any sodium, any electrolytes. I have a liquid IV, that would be better than that. Liquid IV, yeah, yeah, I'm in for that. Mega Man, multivitamin, right? And maybe one more thing here. If you, if you ate food already, I'd go ahead and pop a multivitamin. Pita Ali. This is another thing I'm like, I don't know. That's the tingles, man. That's the yeah, I don't know if I want the tingles. I already have the tingles. Okay. A little fast. <laughs> That's you can tell he's already had his supplements this morning. That's not your... <laughs> All right, day one. It's starting to rain a little bit. I've got, I've got two. Making the essential exchanges of race bibles and headlamps. Uh, that. <laughs> and then we are going to start right here at uh, 8.30. <laughs> yeah. Why? Do we have Please Don't Fail Me Now, Chasing the Dream, or Between a Walk and a Hard Pace? <laughs> yeah. What He's are you so wearing cool. right now? Are you trying Fire to get <laughs> <laughs> It's our first runner here. <laughs> Getting warm. <laughs> oh, we have we have a we have a fellow documenter over here. All right, cool. Right on. How you guys doing? Right on. Who's going first? I'm going first. All right, got the wristband. I'm ready to roll. What's your What's your pace? So I know what we're up against. <laughs> Seven and a half. Seven, Seven and, and a half. half. You heard it here first. Let's be serious, dude. The guy he runs. likes to go back and finish the leg with somebody before yeah. he starts his own, but he doesn't have anybody to take it from. Let's go, man! That little sign right there. You're missing it. Man, so don't worry about your pain. Worry about where you're at. <laughs> when you're trying, so, so when you drive that one, yeah, you just, you just kind of like, like oh, you shit. pour one out for your homie. You know, like, <laughs> you're like, oh, like, having a hard time. Like, yeah, driving yeah. it is uncomfortable. Right? Tonight yeah. your body's like, hold, hold on a second. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? You really get to sleep. Yeah, that, that, that kind of 11 a.m. to 5 or 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. is the dark. That's, I mean, That's it's both literally and figuratively yeah. dark. And then once the sun starts to come up, like Energy. you kind of put it behind you, and you're, you're getting on your last legs, and you figure it out. Well, and tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning's beautiful. Yeah. You're running by the river. You're running over the swinging yeah. bridge. Like it's it's fun. There's... It's fun. Where's that? Our race in Arkansas. We had our like we worked in an outdoor outfitter at the time. Yeah. And so we borrowed their sprinter van, and we're like, this is how you do a race like this. <laughs> All right. Well, show us the ultimate setup here. <laughs> I've heard, Here's I've heard stories. Van. There's a hammock. And we have a hammock. Where do you, know? where you guys have, look at this. We have chairs. <laughs> chairs. This is great. This is the kitchen. This is great. <laughs> now what's scary, what's scary about this is you can't really see where you're turning. These roads are crazy. <laughs> this hammock's gonna be swinging everywhere. We gotta get in action here. <laughs> we'll see how many people actually lay out and sleep in this thing. So we got our first runner in. Finishing up leg one. Let's see that. Here he comes. Go! Let's go! Not bad. Not bad. Hey, hey. Love it. Hey, hey, hey.
Those guys are fighting for second place at about mm, a quarter of a mile away. The only uh, difference is you get a sweet low reward of running down. At the end. mile five, mile yeah. like five and a half, it dips a about little five bit. Five and a half. Yeah, you know, five like, and a half, you're like at the top, kind of flat a little yeah. bit, and then you get you fly down. Yeah, fly down. It, uh, but yeah, it's 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 if, if you were tired going into that like you are Wicked Steep, it'd probably feel very similar. Yeah. This is up a long way. You do the first part is yeah, you, you, I mean, shake out. Like I ran the first mile at like 6:45, um, and then the second mile at like 7:15. It's like all right, I got a couple minutes in the bank now. Yeah. And then it was uphill for five miles, three, four miles, just kind of on gravel roads. You were never really like firm ground, so you're just kind of slipping around a little bit. It's like adrenaline's going. Like 6:45, 7:15, was trying to calm myself down. Then I'm climbing, and then I'm like telling myself, like, yeah, give me more climbing. I want this whole thing to be climbing. Like, you know, trying to like, just think about how miserable those guys behind you are. The people want to know the, the, the coker science behind 747 pace in the first seven miles, no big deal. Now you're biking. I bike to last year after this race, the Sunday after the race. I was driving down the road, and someone had it in their yard, like with a for sale sign. Yeah. And I was like, that would be kind of cool to have in the back of the truck. <laughs> so we got it, and uh, we named it after our guy that just dropped out last weekend of the race, giving us all extra legs. But so the bike is I'm, a she, I'm right? John Devine right now, and it is a she. She's, <laughs> she's great. She's a, let's she take a good John, look. John Devine is a great girl. Shout out to Proform. We got this thing tied, tied in. Well, to the just, back in, of the just truck. in case we decide to do it on the road. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll try it. Alright, there he is. Why? Why? Maybe, why not? But there you go. Did you lose a bit? <laughs> Man, it's, uh, it hits the spot. It's painful at first. <laughs> you gonna go down, like, to the armpits? No. That's the only way to truly acclimate, is to go all the way to the pits. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Who said he only ran four miles during training? <laughs> <laughs> training. What else? Yeah. And the heel strike slamming. Yep. That nervous. Everything has been numb since mile five. I'm like shaking my arms. I'm trying to get. I can't feel my hands. Like this is bad. Let's go. Plus, that is just uphill, which. Maybe four and a half. It's like they could have made it like two miles up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wicked Steep one is like three and a half, four. Wicked Steep is what? It's like five point eight. Yeah. Oh. And it's like uh, I mean it, it it's up from the very beginning, but then it gets really steep. Dude. Let's go! Yeah, here we go. <laughs> when we hit that, that last year, you hit the checkpoint, and they hold you for an hour, which is, it just ruins all your momentum. That would be kind of fun to climb. We got time. So we're about we're about 35 miles in. And this entire trip is filled with views like this. Unreal. There's the legend right there. He's already gotten his river dip. Still, still shivering from a little cold degree weather. Back at it. Back at it again. Seems like it gets all the salt off, salty sweat off of you. Yes, sir. 9-12. Woo! 
Good work, work sir. Good it. work. Oh! Cameron. <laughs> Couldn't stop him down. That's killer. <laughs> killer, dude. Well done. Are we in our flip flops? This is like prime time to get the mud all over me right here, right? It's like the good spot. Hold on, Kelly. Oh, that's it! Oh, man! We'll put that on the other end. Never fear. The good old boy is here. It's a little wet. It's a little wet. How many people Get out of there, Justin. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> yeah! How's Bill be a, be a hero? <laughs> Sa save the day. Yeah, there you go. Race <laughs> and help our fellow friends. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, if you guys pass us, I'm going to be pretty upset. <laughs> Are you ready? How many miles? Six miles. You know which way you're going? 1300 feet of elevation, and I'm going that way, and then... <laughs> nice. Yeah, baby. Oh, that way. Let's do it. I saw him, right? Nate was, all, Nate was all confident, like, ready to go full athletic, but he went with, this is the rodeo, he went with no socks, and just yeah. bloodied his whole yeah, feet. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's but he flew. Yeah, yeah, it's still 742. <laughs> Just don't cramp. Just don't cramp. That's right. Kill these in the cab. Easy day. Easy day. Billy, go. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go get it. Regulate what uphill means until you're out here and you get up and you're like, it doesn't, the car, riding the cars don't do it justice. You put your foot on the pavement, it's like, okay, nice and steep. But you hear that car struggling too, though. It's good challenges. I remember passing this rock face going. <laughs> I'm about to go drink some of that water. All right, finally, finally, we're eight hours, eight hours into this fun van trip, which has been awesome. It's been a great trip, but I finally get my run in this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I plugged in right here. Definitely uh, the coolest view we've seen so far. So. Four miles for the rest of your life. <laughs> and, then, and then just 16 more. <laughs> and then 16. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the I have an 845 old, pace on this one, so I'm gonna keep at 845. All on the asphalt. Let's go. Oh man. Here. See you guys at the finish line. Let's go. I know. Running this first mile for my bride. Love you, Leisha. Can't wait to see you soon. So I'm pushing this pace sub eight, which is probably a bad idea. But I'm out here thinking about how we get rest. We got everything we need to recover. Three hours to the next run. Let's keep pushing.
Yeah, so leg one done, and that was really hard. A lot harder than I thought it would be, and so uh, I'm carving up. <laughs> we got we got Mr. Protein Bowl over here. Uh, it was going zero carb. Huh. What you got back there? Oh man, everything. Everything. See everything. I, I'm about to get into that, but I didn't get mustard on mine. But I did. I got a got a hammer gel, apple cinnamon. I got a honey stinger energy gel. I had a banana, some peanut butter, some cashews, uh, a little bit of water. Probably need to do some more water. And I'm gonna see if I can scarf this down because guess what? I run again in two hours. Wish me luck. Realize you get into this trip and uh, you get tired and you forget. Oh yeah, I'm trying to document the trip. So check it out. We're here at the recreational complex and I've got my first change of clothes. I'm going to go to the bathroom change my clothes, get ready for the next run. So I'm not gonna run with the camera this time. Uh, this is crazy intense. You'd be crazy to, to do it every run, but I wanted to show you the setup. So I got my got my lights here, Boop. got my vest, and uh, it's gonna keep us safe. This is the first leg where we have to run with vest and headlamps, so we'll keep you posted. Here we go. There we go. Great finish! Hit it, dude. <laughs> the first three were sub nine. Now Everybody nine understands this. Like Everybody who's running these mountains understands this. All right, I'm halfway through my runs. I can feel like I can definitively say the hardest two runs. I think the lights are on. Look at this beautiful church. And just beat them right there. Yeah. Let's yeah. we'll see what our lighting is like. It's not bad. We're, blink we're blinking strong. Got a good strong blink. Yes. Yeah, you're twisted. Let me look. Look. This is how we help take Help him, man. Oh my gosh. So well, can't I, miss, I can't miss I that one. That. I didn't need that eyesight. <laughs> I didn't need it. God, it's so bright. Good job. <laughs> I kept like nodding up. <laughs> sorry, ladies. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Was like they had they had three groups that had four guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just slide over. Unfortunately, it's too dark. Oh. I can't capture it. I'm sure you guys are. A little dipper. Hit it, beet juice. Look at that stallion. That's a professional athlete. Look at that stallion. Like you can put cream. it all over your body, but don't let it don't get on your, your hands. hands. <laughs> what happens? Hands are very sensitive. <laughs> what, what, what happens? I mean, is it is the concern that it might get somewhere else on your body? No, 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 no. You just this horse turns you into a horse. Okay, so horse so, legs. So yeah, yeah horses horse run hands. Hands. But not horse hands. Right. Yeah, I'm yeah. with you. Horses don't have hands; they have their hooved animals. Hooves, yeah. hooves. <laughs> so I guess if you get it on your hands, you'll get hooves, <laughs> and that's not good for running. <laughs> There's been, if you look at our maturity line. From college, yeah. it's either a straight or or slight down. Down. Well, that's what I said. Like, like, bring that twelve-year-old over. Dudes, don't show them how it's done. Dudes don't grow up; they just grow old. They just get the jokes Actually, stay the same. Older, they get old when they when they. Yeah. The jokes stay the same. Yeah. They still love the same yeah. things to do when they were ten. Yeah. We just have the money to do it now. Yeah. <laughs> I really came over to like, how did it feel? There's, really? there's some people that are running in this van. I ran yeah. that in a 650 last year and uh, yeah, man, I thought like I was going to throw up. I thought I was going to throw up. Really? Is it a sub? It's a sub. Man, yeah, that sucks. Alright, oh, we'll see yeah. you at the next one. It's like sitting like... Oh uh, yeah. Oh. And what, was it, what was it this year? 725. I don't know. I didn't know. 725. Alright. It's 11.30, uh, we're on leg 19, and everybody's feeling really good. <laughs> That's a joke, but everybody's doing okay. Uh, let's see, Brian's got a 5.6 mile run, pretty challenging elevation, and then I'm up next. I've got a 5.5, which will be really easy compared to my other runs. When we uh get it to midnight <laughs> um we're gonna be 100 miles in to this race 
and a little bit more actually. And uh, they said, this is where the hard part begins. So, so far it's just been fun. <laughs> so, so they say, so, um, but they say this is gonna be where it gets really challenging and um, you know, where you just gotta suck it up. Um, team no sleep. So gotta make it to breakfast. And by the time I'm sitting down eating breakfast, I'm done with all my running, which will be about 22 miles. Um, these other guys will have some more legs, but we're gonna get into this uh, next leg. Let's go! No, so polite about that. Was... Oh, time against time, 1140. That was the, the nutrition. 1140? The nutrition pieces, like I felt like I was gonna throw up for the, like the first three miles of that. Yeah. <laughs> See how bright that is in the camera. You can see nothing but that. That's it. That's it. Crush it, dog. Oh boy. Get it! Beauty! Twenty. Stay on the lake. So it's two thirty four, and uh, you know. Team no sleep is tough. Um, I've got about four and a half hours before I've got a 7.7 .7 mile run. It should be the nicest run so far. But, you know, I'm about almost 14 miles in already. So that'll put me about 22. And, uh, you know, we've got runners running. we got them coming in and going out every hour. And uh, you pretty much gotta get out of the truck. That's the thing. You can't stay in the truck. You, you wanna stay awake, you gotta get out of the truck. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get out of the truck. Go hang out with the guys. I'm just checking in on Team No Sleep here. Even when, even when McNamara isn't sitting next to me, he's still keeping me up. <laughs> Good finish, dude. Good finish. Let's go. Not 12 is the get it. Let's go, dude. Good job. All right, Mike. Well done. Good job, Mike. Someone's got to grab me. Well done. Is that fun? Yeah, I, I know. Okay. Little little latte. Okay. Got it. My window down. like it feels appropriate to play the Lion King theme song right now <laughs> as the sun's coming up. That's pretty. Beautiful. Hey boy! Woo! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes! Welcome to the Dunn Club. Alright, 30 legs done. We just sent 31 out the door and pleasant surprise at uh, the exchange at like 30. Let's go ahead and schedule. We get to go back to school. Right. Yeah. Check out these halls and tell me they don't take you back. So this guy right here has the old rec yet. center. <laughs> Starving. Oh, wow. I'm 
I'm going to get down there. Let them know. I'm less worried about that. Just put some football pads on. There's people getting some food. Y'all are amazing. I'm not eating. I'm just documenting. I wanted the world to see you guys working so hard. Awesome. Thank y'all for doing this. Y'all are great. Get you a fruit cup. Come from different walks of life and what they're doing, and you're able to come out into a position where, hey, you're pushing yourself. You're able to sharpen that, sharpen that blade, and then meet other people that are doing it. Like it's, it's fun to do that. <coughs> What are you looking at? That is, that we're, is we're yeah, looking at milk thistle, thistle in the wild. Thistle. Milk thistle. That is thistle. <laughs> well, wow. So I, I gotta see if I can really get in get into You're this. Ceremonial. Uh, thistle. Let's do what Stewart did and, uh, can I can I get that walk again, please? Yeah, do that walk again. Can I get that walk it's again? <laughs> we're not running this leg. We're gonna we're, we're gonna thistle this leg. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> It's a half a mile up the hill. You gotta go up the hill. Three quarters of a mile that way. Not really. Not really. Not really. There's Brian right there. Hey, good job. Stop it. He's on the, he's, he, there's no middle ground, it's the extremes of it. That's right. Athlete. Good run, bro. <laughs> Let's go, Clark. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Let's get it, let's get it. <laughs> top speed, top speed. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I would have busted it. I would have busted it three times. That was amazing. That was amazing. Sometimes you just got to ride in the back of the truck because there's no room inside the truck. But I'm with my friends. We got Divine here. I got Mr. Orange cooler. <laughs> you know, bucket stuff. The final countdown. Is it, what time is it? We got two minutes. It's 1226. <laughs> All the way through! Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. All right. The last leg's wrapping up, but we went ahead and we're out here. This is the last leg. At the finish line. Look at these sad. Look at these sad kiddos. <laughs> We're all going down these stairs. How you doing? You walking normal? It's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. All right, we have a couple minutes. We have a couple minutes, and uh, we're at the end of the race, and we have a chance to. Leave people with like something big here. I'm just wondering insights from this run. I, you know, I have learned that eagles fly with eagles. That's what I was going to say. That's crazy. Wow. Can you can you tell us what that means? Do hard things with hard people. That's whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sure. We like you. <laughs> we like Do hard things with hard people. Oh boy, guys. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go, let's go. Start, yeah, starting and finishing the trip with a little boat time. A little BT. A little BT. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. BT. A little, a little uh, TT. A little tube time. Back there. Yeah. We were just up there. In those uh, mountains. Could you not drive so bumpy, please? <laughs> so, Discovery on our last boat ride. <laughs> we found rope swing. Can you reach that handle? <laughs> that was cool. That was good. <laughs> like that. Woo! Good backflip. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you remember? You remember Heber J hitting her butt on a root? Let's go! Let's go! Here he goes. Please hold. 